Okay, so I'm joined today by Joel Edgington, who is the PE lead and community liaison locally, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he does. So, Joel, can you just remind us when it was that you were at uh, the high school here in Chess? Yeah, so I left in um, 2018, um, so that I've started, obviously, prior, prior to that in year seven. Yeah, right, okay, okay. And f can you tell us what, you, what it is that you do now and how you kind of went from leaving Chess just a couple of years ago to where you are at the minute? Yeah, so when I was at Chesterton, um, a great opportunity came up for me to take on as a PE apprentice at one of the trust schools, actually under the high school, and that's Chesterton Primary School. And I've sort of developed it at the primary, um, working beside Mrs. Booth, Mrs. Samosa, who was, who was also at Chesterton High School. Yeah. Um, and now, actually, I've progressed into the role of PE lead and also uh, lead of community, Brilliant. as well as working in the local community providing support, especially for our parents and families mm -hmm. at the primary, as well as in the wider community, such as the, the elderly, isolated uh, and vulnerable during, during COVID. Right, okay. Well, what, what I want to do is two things. Firstly, talk about what it is you do at the, at the primary school, so what that kind of involves on a day-to-day -day basis, and then talk a little bit about what, you, what you've done and what we've all seen you doing, like an amazing job in the community. So what about, can you just tell us a little bit first about you? your role in the primary school and what kind of your typical day would involve? Yeah, so my me, me typical day would would include, um, so across the across the course of the week, I teach years one to six um, and I cover their, all their PE lessons. They have two lessons uh, a week, usually would come and use the high school's facilities as well um, to include a couple of swimming lessons. Um, obviously during this time, we were unable to do that. Um, and so PE basically, is based based upon the curriculum. Obviously, year one it's basic basic fundamental skills yeah, for yeah. catching, skipping, hopping. Mm -hmm. um, and it gets more complex when we get into the to the upper upper key stage two, and yeah. that's when we start to look at athletics, invasion games, football, netball, basketball, etc. Right. Your more your more complicated sports really. Yeah. Um, and then I've also actually took on um, also working in the classroom, uh, looking at a little bit of the teaching and learning. Oh right, okay. Helping to helping to boost some of potentially the lower kids up, um, helping helping them to progress to get to where they need to. So, so oh, that's right. typical typical so, weekly like. Yeah, yeah. So are you, are you so you're based full time at uh, at the primary school then? Yes. So yeah. Obviously the PE lead, but then also the different uh, classroom based activities as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. And how about the stuff you've been doing, particularly during COVID for for the community? I mean, can you just tell us a little bit about about that? Yeah, so over the, over the last 12 months, we came together as a school and decided that we wanted to, to step up and, and do something for the, for the Greater Cheston community. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, COVID, a lot of people were hit yeah. financially, um, which then affected their, the, the food, mm -hmm. paying bills. Yeah. You know, so we decided that I would be put into a role that would sort of be the connection from the school to... Yeah. To certain to, to certain organisations, really. Yeah. For instance, we've been working beside the Salvation Army in Chesterton. Mm -hmm. um, I've uh, recently become a director on the board of Chesterton Street Champions, right, okay. um, and that was initially set up as a COVID support group to yeah. support anyone in the community, whether that was collecting a prescription or running a uh, running scheme such as the Top of Food Scheme support. That's at the Salvation Army. Or even working beside, I know uh, Sharon Batiste from Aspire, um, the local councillors, local yeah. mayors and MPs mm -hmm. to ensure that the Greater Chesterton community and schools are getting the support and the families are getting the support they need. Yeah, no, fantastic. I mean, I, I've, I've seen just from obviously Facebook and, and what have you, how, how much you've been doing and how well you're kind of publicising everything. So, and, and that's that's been absolutely amazing to see. Uh, I mean... Where do you see yourself going um, over the next few years? Because obviously you're involved in, from an educational point of view. And I, I asked your mum uh, earlier on when I spoke to her whether you've got an OBE yet, because I expect that's going to be the next <laughs> next thing or an M MBE, whichever one comes first. So do you, do you see yourself staying in community work and maybe developing that? Um, I absolutely love my job at the primary as yeah. a as a PE, PE lead, as the PE coach. Yeah. Um, and then I also really enjoy enjoy doing the community stuff and the community work. 
I've always wanted, my ambition's always been to work in the community, work with young people. And I think since the COVID pandemic, it's yeah. opened my eyes to to how much the Cheston community, you know, needs people to step up and needs people to play the part. Mm-hmm. And we're looking at the impact of this COVID and, and you know, antisocial behaviour, et cetera. Yeah. And it, it's going forward, it's going to be, we're going to see this impact for the next, for the next five or six years. Yeah if not even longer. Um, so as Cheston Street Champions, mm. Cheston Primary School and Salvation Army, yeah. it would potentially be a route where we look at a plan of a plan of going forward, an action plan and going what we can sort of um all how we can all play our part and all make all make a, a bigger difference really. Yeah. Fantastic. No, it's, it sounds like you you like you're you're mad busy on a number of things. Just in terms of the school element. Because there might be people who are at the high school at the moment who are thinking, I'd love to be involved in a school and doing stuff in PE or whatever. What's what what's the kind of the is is there a normal route that you would recommend in terms of someone leaving year eleven this 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 year this uh, this June July, if they want to do that, what options are there in terms of working in local schools and primaries? So there's many options open for me really. Because I wanted originally to become, well, a, a sports coach. I mean, I'm not a qualified teacher. Um, I'm hoping to go on eventually, uh, uh, you know, to do a degree, whether that's an open degree and eventually go on to do my teacher's PGC year after and become a qualified teacher. But the routes that you can go down, you can either become a sports coach. And when you, you go on to college and do an apprenticeship within a sports route, mm. there's a lot of providers out there. For instance, I'm going to name just name a couple, I'm sure. Ben Mills and Wayne Glover won't mind at all. You've got to be active and you've got time for sport that are both two great providers. And there is many more out there that if people want to go on to do an apprenticeship, they offer routes for them to go in and do coaching. Yeah. And a lot of people go down that apprenticeship route, firstly, of going to a coaching company, mm-hmm. then get their degree and then potentially go into schools um, and, and deliver P as a sports coach or then take their degree further and go on to doing a teaching degree. So that would be the apprenticeship route. Yeah. The other route is obviously you go to college and you can do your, your A-levels, mm-hmm. your tech in your sport, and then go on to your route of, of university after. That way I didn't feel, for me, would be beneficial because I'm a, I like to be more hands-on, sure. a lot more practical. So yeah. this, route, uh, this route was more practical and, and more really more ideal for me. And I'm really lucky that, you know, yourselves at Chesterton High had uh, the and Chesterton Prime School had the opportunity for me to me to progress through through this route. Yeah, no, no, that sounds ideal because at least you get that experience, that first hand experience before you then go on the, the long drudge of the academic side of it and, and what have you. So that's brilliant. One last question. Um, what was it you wanted to do as a kid? What I've always job when you were young. I've always had two things in my uh, two yeah two things in mind really, and one of them still occasionally crops up um, to, to a couple of things that I want I want to do. Not French teacher, is it? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, sorry, sir. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to potentially join the police. Right, the police officer. Yeah, potentially make my way up into a, a crime investigator, mm-hmm. detective. Um, but and then I've always I've always wanted to work with young people in the community. Yeah. The youth service three four year back was was quite a big thing, and mm-hmm. um, lo- lots of jobs were going. Yeah, unfortunately the government cut all of that back. But and then I also like to make an impact and I like to make a direct impact, especially for the Cheston community. Sure. So going into a potentially parliamentary role. Mm. Um, so and this could be something going forward that I could actually stay with the school. The yeah. community sort of work become a councillor potentially i mean these are big ambitions these are potentially mp uh, yeah. going, going forward and and to make that make that positive impact uh, in the community yeah. and working closely with um we've got a deputy mayor actually ken owen who lives in the cheston community and there's actually a cheston councillor he's deputy mayor for newcastle underline borough council yeah uh, and just speaking to him speaking to david grocott who's also a director on Chester Street Champions Board, um, having general conversations with him, having food, going for a drink, and hearing some of the stuff and the impact he's made. Sure. It's definitely uh, inspirational fit, and I would definitely love to, to follow in that and then footsteps. Fantastic. Joel, 
really appreciate your time. Thank you very yeah. much for, for joining us. So uh, all the best. You take care. Thank you. Cheers.